Imagine hearing about a machine that could end electricity bills forever. No fuel, no pollution, no noise. A device that runs day and night without slowing down. While many Americans pay more each year for power, a quiet company claims it has unlocked a constant natural force that could change everything. They call it the Earth Engine. Their claims sound unreal, yet they insist the device is real and ready to reshape life as we know it. If true, it could transform homes, cities, and entire nations. This story explores what the Earth Engine is, why it matters, and how it might redefine our future. The problem with power. Modern power grids once represented human achievement. It connected distant towns, lit up streets, and powered factories. But over the decades, demand kept rising. More houses, more devices, more digital systems, and more pressure on lines that were never built for today's world. The weather became more severe. Heat waves pushed grids to the edge. Winter storms knocked out lines for days. Every failure brought frustration and higher costs. The deeper problem lies not only in the wires, but in the sources behind them. Fossil fuels remain the backbone of electricity. They release carbon, warm the planet, and strain the environment. Renewable energy helps, but remains incomplete. Solar panels stop producing when clouds roll in or night falls. Wind turbines slow as the air grows. Battery storage is improving, yet large-scale solutions remain costly. Millions still lack reliable access to electricity, and some regions wait years for upgrades that never come. Power plants age faster than they can be replaced. It forces us to consider that the grid's structure may be the barrier. Maybe the future does not lie in repairing old systems, but in creating new ones. What if electricity could be produced directly where it is needed, without wires, without fuel, and without depending on the unstable rhythms of nature? The birth of a radical idea. Around 2015, a small team of engineers and physicists left their careers to pursue something they felt traditional companies would never allow. They felt progress stalled under the weight of politics, profit, and outdated thinking. They wanted to chase an idea without limits, a device that challenged the assumptions of the energy world. They founded Quantum Energy Corporation, working quietly in a garage instead of a major lab. Their goal was not to improve a battery or design a better turbine. They wanted a machine that needed no fuel and produced no emissions, something that did not fit typical energy technology categories. They called it the Earth Engine. According to them, it uses principles involving plasma, magnetic resonance, and kinetic conversion. They claimed it draws usable power from natural forces that already exist around us. These forces are often too small to notice, but constant and everywhere. Their early work took place in secret locations, far from public attention. Some insiders claimed these early devices kept entire facilities powered without interruption. Short clips online showed machines spinning or cycling with no visible power source. Many dismissed these as illusions or misunderstandings. Others wondered if there was something more to the story. Quantum avoided outside influence, saying they feared industrial sabotage or early legal battles. Their secrecy created mystery, challenge, and hope all at once. Whether their invention becomes a scientific breakthrough or a misunderstood prototype, the team remains determined to show the world what they have built. How the Earth Engine Might Work Quantum reveals little about the Earth Engine's internal design. They say it does not defy physics and is not perpetual motion. Instead, they insist it converts forms of natural motion that we rarely capture. Their explanations mention magnetic fields, plasma chambers, and oscillating systems that shift in harmony to produce power. They describe the environment as full of constant motion, from atmospheric pressure changes to subtle ground vibrations. These forces carry energy, but they are usually too small or spread out to use. According to the company, the Earth Engine is designed to gather and amplify these motions. It creates resonance, allowing the system to produce steady electricity. The machine may contain rotating parts, but far fewer than a normal generator. This reduces wear and makes long-term operation possible. The boldest claim is that it works the same anywhere on Earth. 
It does not need wind, sunlight, or fuel deliveries. It could operate in deserts, mountains, forests, cities, or deep rural areas. A single unit could run a house. Larger units could power highways, ports, or factories. Critics claim the physics is unclear and doubt the feasibility. Supporters say science evolves and discoveries often begin with unexplained results. The idea that small natural forces can be gathered and multiplied is not impossible. Whether this specific design succeeds, the concept opens a new area of conversation in energy research. It challenges us to question what else might be possible. A world transformed. If the Earth engine works as promised, it could reshape nearly every part of society. Energy is the foundation of modern life. It powers farms, hospitals, communication networks, transportation, and industries. With constant clean power, many areas of life would change. Electric cars could run without charging stations. Cargo ships could travel across oceans without fuel tanks. Trains and planes could operate cheaply and cleanly. Homes could produce their own power without relying on distant plants. Regions without electricity could leap ahead, gaining access to tools, medicine, and clean water for the first time. Cities would operate without fear of blackouts. Air would become cleaner as power plants shut down. Forests could recover as industries shift to cleaner methods. Innovation would accelerate as energy becomes abundant and affordable. New fields of research would open. Space exploration could expand with long-lasting power sources. Indoor farms could grow fresh food anywhere, reducing hunger and stabilizing supply chains. These possibilities come with challenges. A shift this large would disrupt oil companies, utilities, and industries that depend on the old system. Jobs would change. Infrastructure would adapt. Regulations would evolve. But the long-term benefits could outweigh the short-term struggles. The Earth Engine offers a picture of a world shaped by abundance rather than scarcity by clean skies instead of pollution, and by opportunity instead of limitation. The countdown to 2025. Quantum Energy Corporation says 2025 will be the year the world finally sees the Earth engine in full operation. No more clips, hints, or closed door demonstrations. They plan to show a device running openly with no attached wires or fuel source. Until then, they continue refining the design, testing it in private locations, and preparing partnerships. Each small reveal sparks debate. Some people are eager for the technology, others doubt every claim. The approaching demonstration represents more than a technological milestone. It is a psychological one. It will test how ready the world is for change. Even if the device works perfectly, adoption may face resistance. Laws and regulations may slow progress. Industries that rely on fossil fuels may push back. Media coverage may create confusion, but Quantum believes this is natural. Every major invention faced doubt before acceptance. They say their goal is not to convince everyone at once, but to show clear evidence. Curiosity matters more than automatic belief. They want people to look, think, and decide for themselves. The countdown to 2025 is not only about a machine, it is about the world deciding whether it is ready for a new era of energy. A future within reach. Imagine the world years after Earth Engine goes into general use. Homes power themselves without bills or fear of storms. Cars travel as far as needed without stopping to recharge. Clinics in remote areas run equipment day and night. Families draw clean water from purification systems, powered by small devices. Cities expand lighting and cooling without overwhelming the grid. Air becomes cleaner as fossil plants close. Factories lower costs, making goods more affordable. Farmers grow food in buildings that keep a perfect climate all year. Children study at night in regions once left in the dark. Innovation moves faster because power is no longer a barrier. The Earth Engine represents more than a tool. It represents a shift in thinking. It suggests that energy does not have to be scarce. It asks us to imagine abundance. Even if the device does not deliver every claim, it encourages new exploration and bold ideas. It pushes science, engineering, and imagination forward. It reminds us that change often begins with a question and grows with the courage to answer it. 
After all, the Earth engine is more than a rumoured invention. It is a challenge to the limits we accept. The coming years will reveal whether this device becomes a turning point or fades into speculation. If it works, it may reshape how the world creates, shares, and thinks about energy. If it fails, it still sparks important discussion about progress and possibility. What matters most is our willingness to explore new ideas and ask difficult questions. As the countdown to 2025 continues, one truth remains clear. The future is not fixed. It waits for those ready to shape it.